pleased to present the first public release of the scrubber device. If you want to know the ins and outs, uh, watch the previous video. I go into a little more detail there, but I'm just going to cover what's changed since then. So let's get a clip going. And you can enter scrub mode by holding the select key, pressing the user button, and there's our playhead. Trigger it freely. Uh, we have some launch quantization settings. So now we have no quantization. You can add some swing if you want. We can turn on repeat, which will repeat the slice as long as we hold it down. do pattern recording with the upper scene button. Light red is not, uh, normal playback, flashing red is record, and green is playing back. It'll start recording as soon as you hit the button, and then after the specified amount of time, it will start looping. And you can overdub into this sequence, which is kind of cool. Uh, press it again, and it will go back to normal playback. All these, uh, the controls are available from the push. Uh, you can select your track. We have uh, length for all the loops and sequence length. So the length of the sequence doesn't have to be as long as the loop. If you want to make this twice as long, if you want to improvise a little and kind of rearrange what you're doing, now you have a, length, a loop length that <coughs> is twice as long as the original audio clip. Again, that'll reset to normal playback. The most exciting thing is if we bring our launch pad over, we go to our device, we can now select launch pad as the control surface. It'll freak out a little bit, but uh, hit user two and you should be good to go. We'll have the same options available to us over here. We can freely move between modes clips. You can record multiple sequences. is a quick overview of the scrubber device for both launch pad and push. Um, download it at maxforlive.com and feel free to get in touch with any bugs, feature requests, uh, fan mail, etc. All right, thanks for watching.